yeah i've tried to record some videos but it turns out i've mined out a rent video yeah so after all this torture and trying to mill my opponents yet again even though i was i was baited into doing that my friends i got baited because i won plenty of games and i was very close to diamonds again i was very close to exiting this rank uh, so I I guess I was, again, playing a better version of Lockdown Druid. I got a bunch of stars and then I switched to mill deck and it somehow got very lucky. I still try to answer the question, is Due Process actually a good card? So I'm trying to make an exclusive deck. We're not playing anything in this video, unfortunately. I can try this. It looks pretty juicy. Mostly because it has Topier. And it sort of works like a uh, uh, Trian Druid in a way. Even though it doesn't have any Trians. So I'm not sure how I will... Well, Soul of the Forest, right? That's the idea. Well, we're not necessarily going to talk about that. But well, we're kind of going to talk about that. I've already rented about two concepts. But there's a third one. In fact, this is uh, Tempo. This is the cat moment, all right? Prepare yourselves. Uh, actually, no. Well, yes. Control, Tempo, Aggro. So Tempo has the ultimate tool of clearing your board. And only your side of the board. And if they successfully do that efficiently, they just win the game by playing a bunch of board clears. Paladin plays Tempo. The, the stupid earthen paladin but they can also play aggro we're gonna get to that there's also control decks that just play one card win the game ignis as notorious as it is it's not the card the card is odin and then there is sargeras yeah and maybe if you uh make a spicy deck your win condition is reno that's that's the thing. It's, it's very annoying stuff. And now we have more control decks because of Reno, because Reno is like neutral and stuff, and I, I don't like that. I don't like control decks being enabled by a card that just wins the game because you clear the board. But control doesn't win by just clearing your board. You know, they have to actually swing back at you, not just burn your resources, because technically Hearthstone is fairly infinite right now. You can just draw a bunch of cards and keep going with it. So potentially control can run out of Borklers, and it might not be a win condition, but that's why you have Odin. That's why Odin breaks the game. But these cards are not just fluffy, enable the deck type of cards. They break the game. Them existing and being ridiculously efficient, they break the game simply because... No one can build decks anymore. The game became stale. I play against the same shit over and over and over and over again. And right now, the best and most amazing trends that's on the ladder right now is obviously aggro decks. Warrior somehow is number three. The Odin Warrior bullshit then you have, again, Sergeus Warlock nonsense, and maybe some Sludge Warlock. I'm not sure what people are playing exactly. Thaddeus? Are you fucking kidding? Thaddeus Warlock? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Okay, it does have Sargeras. It does have, like, all the fucking weird shit in here. Symphony of Sins. This is not a fluffy deck by any means. It's a very weird version that I've never tried before. What? No, it's Thaddeus' deck, but like the old school. It's not trying to pull off a combo of, of any kind. Okay, now I understand. Because when, when I say Thaddeus' Warlock out loud, it's just like Sludge Thaddeus. And no one should play that deck. Or have a win rate with that deck. Right? We're not getting duped here. Yeah, I don't think so. So, 
A little bit of Sludge Warlock, I guess, but there's Thaddeus, there's Sargeras, nonsense. There's one card wins the game, bullshit. Thaddeus is fine. Thaddeus is a combo card. Combo is very difficult to actually build, and basically it doesn't actually even enter the pyramid. Or a triangle of things that win games. You don't get to see combos win games very often. But when they do, they feel like very uninteractive and something that Blizzard kind of nerfs very quickly. So, uh, it's not going to be a part of the discretion. It's not going to be a fucking square of things. In fact, right now, combos are the only thing that can actually like break this whole cycle. Because they play on a completely different scale, right? So on a different dimension. And they actually feel more interactive when you have to break the game somehow. And you have to win in one turn, in a way. So I'll, I'll take combos, thank you very much. I'll take the Lockdown Druid up my ass, if I, if I can. Uh, so there's a question mark. What aggro decks do to win the game, right? Because... Uh, do you guys know? They don't play Borklers, and they don't play, play one card wins the game card. What did they do to win the game? It's pretty fucking obvious. This. Then one of these. And then one of these. You flood the board many times over as quickly as possible lock down the board with shit like this then buff the board to finalize your you know output of damage it can be bloodlust it can be savage roar and in this case it's fucking cultivation for zero mana congratulations it's not rocket science it's the same shit over and over again and it's the most degenerate sort of gameplay ever invented this is when you these cards dominate the game the game is fucking garbage all right the, the game is just boring and it's monotonous and it's the same thing over and over again because these cards carry the game so much they enable the deck so much that there's nothing else but you you just pray for your opponent not to have those cards that's it that's that's all you do you just pray and i I don't think I'm in a church right now to fucking pray for luck to happen. I don't want to fucking do that. I see a broken card game, and I'm going to fucking call it out as it is. And I'm going to make my own card game instead. Because holy shit now. It's about time. It's still very, very stressful for me. I still don't have the perfect conditions to just calm down and do my own thing, but uh, I should be able to do it. You know, I should be able to just uh, slowly take a step back from Hearthstone when it looks like that. Th this fucking crappy. When everyone just playing Tree and Druid, Aggro Paladin. Uh, I saw Tempo Warrior and Tempo Paladin, they do the same thing. They clear your board successfully. And Tempo Warrior is uh, like Taunt Warrior. It's still pretty difficult to fucking beat when they have, like, ridiculous stats. And if uh, you refine that deck, it's, it's probably impossible to beat, to be honest. They just don't have enough, like, Borklers uh, that they play. Potentially. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why uh, Taunt Warrior is not being played right now. Let me double check how popular it is. At least it should have a very good win rate. Rock and roll? I think it's one of these. Yes. Yes, that's the one. If we, we saw it, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. And then this control warrior. And it's not control warrior, it's a fucking Odin warrior. It's just one card wins the game type of bullshit. There's nothing to control, bro. If it was actual control, then it would be fairly interactive and you're just, like, not actually praying 
but just sort of playing with your opponent's Borklers. They will run out of Borklers eventually, they will run out of answers eventually, and you're, you're sort of like calculating that shit, and eventually crack down the control deck. But if they have Odin, and they win the next turn after playing Odin, I don't think that fucking game is interactive anymore. Is it? For fuck's sake. So let's uh, finish the triangle, my friends. You flood the board many times over, and guess what happens? You win the moment it sticks. Everything sticks, and you just buff it with something. Paladin can do it, and Paladin wins even more consistently than Druid. I just don't understand why they just don't play massively the aura. Once the Paladin puts down the aura, I can see it. On turn four, I can see it instantly. They have three minions, they put aura, I can see it now. It's game over. Why the fuck is not popular right now? I don't understand, but it's way worse than Cultivation even. Because with Cultivation, you have to play a specific, like, uh, treant version of bullshit, you know? This can get nerfed very easily. But it's also very difficult for Blizzard to press the button to nerf this card. Because they they like that, well, it's treant archetype, so it's like, uh, we, we built it, you know, guys, like, it's synergy. Guys, like, you must understand, it's like, it's treants, it's like, cool. But it's so fucking stupid, man. As hell. When these cards dominate, the game is unplayable. Just strictly. Yes, you can win some games, but you also have to get incredibly lucky. Technically, yes, uh, there's Countess, there's, uh, there's a Titan. They're sort of in a position to re make huge swings. Like, ridiculously huge swings. Uh, like, the tempo swing is huge, but it's it's tempo card. It's not exactly like win the game card, like Odin is. Tempo is sort of fine, no matter when it comes down. Is that how he wins the game, though? Yeah, just overwhelming tempo cards. That is... That is uh, its own category, almost. Or in between. You know, you can find some bullshit like that. So I would put Countess and... Other Tempo Titans, they sort of look like this, but they stand on their own. It's interesting. Uh, so obviously there's more to the structure than just these uh, extreme cards. But you can't play around them, there are win conditions, and win conditions fucking suck in card games when the game is too obvious, then the decks are boring, there's not much... You can build, you have to build around these cards because they're extremely powerful. And then it's just like, what's the point? What's the point? It's not a card game anymore. It's just a copy and paste type of game. Because it's it's going to be more efficient to do that than actually have brains to even like understand what, what you're doing. And uh, if, if the deck needs like to uh, counter the metagame a little bit, if there's something you can do to improve it. That's a very satisfying thing to do. For me, personally. So, I lose that. Then there's this bullshit, like, infinite nonsense gets shuffled in your deck and you have to deal with this shit. It's kind of disgusting, but I was able to mill this guy, by the way. I'm playing a mill deck. Yeah. It was, it's obviously a torture playing like this, but... And I had to do a steam cleaner, because I know this shit is coming at me. I'm not sure if there's a category. There's definitely a category for, like, mana cheating. But, yeah. Because I was able to win, that means, like, he didn't break the game enough. Clearly. So, uh, we're not gonna talk about that. And uh, this guy buffed the board a bunch of times. So is the death rattle, or in this case, divine shield filled nonsense that I can't beat. And then you put some more buffs on it. That's how you do with aggro. That's the, the, the core aggro aspect is that your minions are very, very difficult to remove from the board. 
Not because they they have tempo, but you want to keep dealing damage to your opponent. Right? And uh, every single tiny minion puts pressure uh, over time increasingly more, right? I try to silence, doesn't fucking work. Don't worry about it, guys. It's not going to save you. He's just going to summon a 5 5 treant. And then you're still in trouble. Uh, this sort of like super mana cheating, again, it's its own weird category where you kind of high roll mana cheat in a way. It pisses me off too. So there's like consistently high stats. But there's also like low cost nonsense. And probably I have to make my fuck. I don't like Jimp, my friends. But this is what we're working with. Let's let's call them zero cost cards. I'm not sure where we're going with this, but you know, I already said my rant. It's just there's definitely more ways to break the game. And these cards can go in, in between. Because control decks can use a tempo explosion, basically. Okay, let's... Let's throw a star in there as an explosion, bro. Boom. So, what what is between aggro and control? Is that, is that even possible? Is there another question mark we can answer? Just by accident? Because this is Edvin moment, like on turn five, I can't, I can't do this. I can't beat this shit. What do you want from me, bro? Like, I'm not even gonna try. Aggro secrets, I definitely lost to that. Some fucking nonsense. The game is degenerating so much, I... I really fucking hate it. I silence twice. Congratulations, guys. And I win, obviously. Unlucky he is. I got Colossal out. I changed the deck to counter aggro and that's the first thing that happened in this video. So I thought, well, this video can't be like ruined or anything, right? It was. Uh, then the Paladin, I can't beat Paladin, apparently. What happened with the Paladin is, uh, he just cleared my board a bunch of times. That's it. That's all they have to do, technically, because they're tempo. All right. So with Paladin, you don't even know are you playing against aggro or tempo. And they have, uh... Four Borklers, and this guy had, in fact, all the four Borklers in his hand and was able to clear the board very, very efficiently. You can see, boom, everything disappears, everything disappears, blah, blah, blah. Keeps disappearing, and then he finalizes his shot. I want to show every single Borkler right now and how powerful those cards are when he plays it pretty good. I should just go again. You don't have... Oh, we found Borkler too, too. Borkler number one, my friends. This Borkler deals 9 plus 9, so it's 18 points of tempo. And it costs 2 mana, my friends. Yeah, that's cool. But it's a combo. But the fucking combo makes you even worse. The fuck? Combo just finalizes the Borkler, so it's a... You need two cards to make the Borkler more Borklerier, you know? Fucking bullshit! Wow, so fucking creative and interesting. So it's still just an aggro deck, but slightly fucking slower. So yeah, he just uh, used four mana, two cards, cleared my entire board. Congratulations. And uh, that means for four mana and two cards he got... 
11, 17 points of tempo. Cool, right? It's like two removals. Easy. Two removals for four mana. But how, how often can you fucking do that with Paladin? So, is that it? Somehow, like, that's just two Borklers. Is that a different Paladin? Okay, maybe things uh, last a little bit longer than I expect. Oh, of course. Of course it works. Never mind. Borkler number two. This one fucking... Just because. Just because he can. He casted this one. It doesn't even, like... It's not that much tempo on the board. Oh, fuck off, man. Holy shit. It's just... But just enough. So he sacrificed two points of tempo. And for four mana. What is that? Three, six, ten, eleven. For four mana, he gets nine, nine. Yeah. He gets all, all of his board back. But most importantly, this happened. If I, uh. Oh, wow. It's a Borkler. So I played a seven mana card to do this. And I had to activate a fucking dragon to do this on top of that, which gives me a board with 13 points of tempo. Did he attack with that? I don't know. But uh, he buffs this, and uh, he only sacrifices like two points of tempo. Two. And he gets back the two with the buff. So everything gets cleared, basically. And he activates the egg. So maybe plus one point of tempo, plus two. That's 15 for five mana. Cool. Thank you. I try to do something and it doesn't fucking matter, right? Because he has Borkler. How cool is that? And then he has another Borkler. Haha. <laughs> this might actually be the, the worst one. I don't know. Maybe that blocks. So now that you're dealing with four Borklers in a row, like, yeah. Wow, what an interesting game we're having right now. Oh my god. I think we win. Okay, we definitely reset the game successfully. Fourth Bork! Yeah, I do, uh... It does get out of control. I'm not sure why did he not attack like proper, but we didn't get any. What's going on? God damn it. Oh, fuck this guy for sure. Maybe that blocks. I guess he just gave up because it doesn't matter. You know, he just gave up the five points of tempo. Doesn't matter. So he loses three points of tempo. But clears almost three minions. Oh my god. I think we win. Okay, we definitely reset the game successfully. Fourth board... Okay, loses five, but gains five, six, eleven, that's three, fourteen, loses five, 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 that's nine, but he also clears a titan that would do a lot of problems if he didn't just fucking break through my taunts that easily Blair, thank you very much for the jesus moment holy shit man literally that's all he had and then with five mana he fills the board because why the fuck not do both he borglers man every single turn whenever he feels luckily this doesn't feel overwhelming except it kind of is it's very overwhelming my arena was not active my arena was not active for the rest of the game uh, not because something is shuffled in my deck, but I just run duplicates. So there's no way out of this. I just lose. I draw him a few cards and all of a sudden that's all he needed. It's absolute nonsense, bro. Like, for him, it's just super fucking brain-dead nonsense to just play a Borkler. This is why, again, the game is so fucking stupid. It's brain-dead fucking game. When these cards dominate, when they just... Pull you into these fucking wormholes of ass. Only brain dead people would play this shit. 
and the card game just loses its flair. Like, it's unplayable. I don't want to play against children and pretend that they have some kind of edge on me. You know, and that when I befriend them, they just throw a bunch of shit at me. Like, they can't even civilize, have a civilized conversation, obviously. But, like, for obvious reasons, because they don't even have to have brain cells to play the fucking game. This makes this a children's card game. And I don't want that shit anymore. Okay? It should be for all ages. You know, if you're a child, you're gonna stay in the chicken fucking rank. It's just that, it's supposed to be that simple, not supposed to be... Let's give legend ranks to everyone. All over the place. I can't wait for Twist Format to show up. Maybe there's gonna be some fucking cool thing we can do for the first few days. But man, this shit takes too long for metagame to fucking switch sides a little bit to freshen itself out. Like, it takes way too long. Because now it's very, very stale and very stupid. Past this point. Even though I, I can have plenty of fun, but like, I still have to rant. In order to, you know, extend my BM. So, uh, we're still looking for that question mark. If there's something that aggro decks and combo deck, uh, control decks play at the same time. And would very much benefit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Symphony of Sins. The biggest sin Zeddy has ever committed is endorsing this card. Like, this card is fucking nuts, bro. It just completely shuts down all the all the combo potential of milling my opponent. Instantly shuts with this one card. I try to mill my opponent, this one card just fucking destroys the shit out of me. It destroys six cards on from top of my deck. To say the least. But it also shuffles cards into his deck. So now he has card advantage. That I can hardly beat with a fucking mill strategy, bro. I can sort of beat Renathal. I can sort of do that. But this one card can, well, destroy me. And this one card can destroy many people in many ways because you get to discover your fucking win condition almost. And uh, the worst thing has happened, in fact. God, fuck. He got plus six, plus six. Meaning that he also buffed something else. Meaning that he got 12 points of tempo, just like that. It's just that fucking simple. And we got to see the other monster very quickly. Next turn. Congratulations, bro. Uh, this is when you fucking lose faith in this game. Like, one card went, does all of this? One fucking card? Unbelievable stuff, man. I try to silence, but it's like too late now. And technically not too late, but it's pretty too late. You know what the biggest sin of all time is? That this guy, this game doesn't even fucking work. Unscammed ourselves a little bit. Of course, he's still fucking aiming to kick my. I have played uh, the armor boosting hero power thing, right? That Druid has. So, this hero power is boosted by plus 4 armor. And I should get 8 armor, right? Ass with this shit. But I, I get 8 armor, bro. And I, I kill this too. Oh, fuck yeah, let's go, baby. I think I, I'll pass on that for now. It's a really powerful move. We can do this, though. Okay. You will not come Let's do this. I gained four armor. Thank you very much, Blizzard. Suck a fucking dick for that shit. I want my four more armor, bro. I want to play Reno and don't feel like a loser that only gets four armor when I invested, my friend. And I even I even get to see like, oh, 
Oh, Blizzard actually likes me. It, it will give me eight armor. Nah, -uh. nah, just gives me four again. So I want my refunds, and I want it delivered to my door. Thank you very much, Blizzard. I get eight armor when I play a fucking uh, legendary tournament. I get randomly eight armor. All right, let's not forget that one. Fucking assholes with them them glitches and bugs. But then when one card can win the game, then that's fucking easy. You just play that one card and win the game. How fucking difficult is that? It's not, apparently. It just pisses me off, man. Uh, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't think we're going to get to that point where some kind of slash aggro slash con control card. Like, I, I don't even know what I'm, I'm defining here. It's a mystery, bro. That will never be solved. Or it shouldn't be solved anyways. I've done my rant, bro. And then Odin shows up because, like, fuck yeah, turn seven, and then you lose. Who cares, right? It's just the most boring thing, like, Odin shows up and you lose. <laughs> wow. Mm. How fucking cool is that? So all of these cards are super boring, super brain dead. What the fuck is going on with the game anymore? Like, I don't understand. Like, the moment you want to nerf something, if Blizzard you know, hides in the bushes and doesn't nerf these type of cards, they're stupid, all right? They have, like, actual brain damage. This includes Hollowhound. They actually somehow nerfed Hollowhound and they actually nerfed Temple Borklers for Paladin. But apparently, they're still ridiculously powerful, you know? Ridiculously powerful to the point where just that's, that's all you have to play in, just a, a little bit of Tempo. And, and then you win. Wow. Luckily, a Paladin is known for, like, casting a lot of Borklers, right? I don't know, bro. I don't even know what's going on to the game anymore. This sort of stuff, like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, all of a sudden, classes that are not supposed to have Borklers, they have now Borklers, and they can play, like, sophisticated tempo nonsense. I don't understand, bro. It's not like pa Tempo Paladin wasn't a thing in the first place but now it's like very fucking solid deck i don't know bro because well it wasn't it wasn't a thing until borkler show up that's the requirement and i think it's a very very obvious stuff now now that i say it out loud of like what wins the game is the problem <laughs> it's not supposed to be obvious how to win the game right and then you have Odin. And uh, Ignis is not even like fucking top tier win condition, apparently. But it can still do plenty of problems to the game. And then technically that's why Astalar is being played, but still not it. Yeah. But see, like people don't not going to venture outside of these zones. They just pick up that well, like, super simple win condition, and they're really powerful. They're just ridiculously powerful. It's very difficult to actually counter that shit. I don't know how to play around it. If anyone has any clues, let me know. But, yeah, I, I'm done my rant. I, I don't know what to do about this, besides just leave Hearthstone alone whenever I feel like it. And no one is going to answer this. Question mark, don't even bother. Just as a bonus meme, I will try and look into these control decks. So it's control warlock and warrior. And I want to see uh, if there's some kind of like an aggro ish cards. Minor. There's no, it's just pure control. Like, there's no way you would do anything you control play odin just fucking win the game and obviously you can if you can squeeze ignis you're gonna do that too where's the warlock 
That is Warlock is Control Warlock, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Symphony of Sins. So two win conditions again. Sergeus and Slime win condition. And these are like really stupid. I don't know, man. Aggro and control. Aggro between aggro and control is technically combo. Technically something we call OTK. Alright. Like some easy OTK, and that shit actually exists. That shit is a hunter card. Alright, if you can like it like two cards OTK almost. Like three two three card OTK. You can just squeeze that shit in. That means it's gonna go to aggro decks as well as uh, control decks. So we solved the fucking bonus meme. Thank you guys for watching. This is uh this is how to break Hearthstone. Alright? Just print enough of these fucking cards. And uh, if people play only those cards and successfully rank up, the game doesn't fucking work anymore.